Hi guys, um, I know that it's been forever since I've done a video and I do apologize and I'm also sorry that I would look pure crap. Um, I woke up pretty late today and I didn't feel all that well last night, um, so I just kind of threw on some foundation and concealer just to try it out because I got some new stuff and this is what it's going to be today. It's a collective haul because I've done a little bit of shopping, I spent more than what I should have and now I have no money to pay my bills. Ditto, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I'm at my dad's right now and I'm currently the only one home besides me and my puppy and I um, kind of want to hurry up because they're going to be getting home pretty soon so we're going to try to make this as quick as possible and there's my puppy. Hello. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I went to Walmart. Let's pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up a couple things and if you hear some like weird noises, they're working downstairs. I'm getting the, the building ready. But anyway, I went to Walmart to kind of scope out some stuff. And <laughs> there's my dog. I'm good. But um, the only thing that I can find, I really wanted the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. But I couldn't find it at Walmart. Um, we don't have a super Walmart here. We just have a regular Walmart. So um, it was kind of hard to shop for makeup here. But um, I got the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB. 8 in 1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And I got it in light sheer tint. Okay. Um, I tried it already. It, you know, it looks like this. But it it feels okay on my skin. Uh, it made my skin feel really good. The only thing that I don't really care for is that um, it kind of feels weird underneath foundation. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's that. Um, and we're going to keep trying it out because I've only used it twice. Um, we're going to keep trying it out just to make sure that, you know, I still like it. And if not, then I will take it back. Um, the other things that I got from Walmart were um, pretty mandatory. A lot of people have been talking about it. Um, and... They are the new oil free cleansing wipes, pink grapefruit acne pro skin from Neutrogena this way. Um, I used the scrub, the face scrub. I bought a big huge bottle and took it to um, my ex-boyfriend's house whenever I was dating him and it kind of got left there. Um, that and my John Frieda tone shampoo, tone correcting shampoo. Um, I had two new bottles of conditioner and shampoo, and this is my, my theory. You know, he should have brought it to work, but he threw it away. He threw both my acne um, wash and my shampoo and conditioner. He threw all of it away, so, yeah. But I got the wipes. Um, I heard that these were really good, so I figured I'd try them. They smell wonderful. I've used them. They actually get all my makeup off and stuff. Um, I do use um, an extra wash before I do this that way that it gets all my makeup off but any makeup that's left behind these get them um I leave it upside down simply because it keeps all the the ones closer to the opening moist and I have no clue what my dog's doing but anyway um just to go along with that I got the foaming scrub um I leave all this in the shower except for the wipes um I do this in the shower. I usually only will use a scrub of a morning and then use the wipes at night. That's what I've been doing. Um, and then I got the body wash for that line. Um, I've actually used used it. It's It was full but now it's kind of not. Um, it actually smells really good. It leaves my skin feeling really good. So I like that. And the last thing that I got from Walmart was it last thing? Yeah. Was this Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray. An exclusive blend of antioxidant rich coconut oil along with lush keratin proteins to strengthen and soften the hair while avocado oil and cocoa butter smooth the cuticle to hold straight strong tresses. Finishing with a brilliant glow and luminescent shine. And this is from Organics. Um, it smells okay. I'm not a big fan of coconut, but it does smell okay. Um, it actually makes my hair feel really soft. 
Um, I use it. I've used it like three times already. <laughs> I know. I, I always use my stuff before I actually do a, a, a haul. But, um, yeah, that's what I got. And, um, I got from Rite Aid. Well, actually, no, I got this from Walmart, too. My bad. I got the Revlon Color Stay um, in 180 buff. It actually matches my skin pretty well. I was actually pretty excited about that because I'm so iffy about buying foundations um, in Walmart and like Rite Aid and stuff because I don't know if it's going to match me or not. But it actually does really good. I used it today. Um, but the only thing that I don't really like about it is it leaves like a powdery finish. And I didn't know about that. It's combination to oily skin. Um, I have really dry skin. But whenever I was putting it on with my brush, I kept noticing that like it kept feeling like powder. And I was like, I really don't like that. So I'm going to use this for a little bit longer. And um, if I don't feel like it's doing much for me, I'm actually going to give this to my dad's girlfriend. And actually go find me another foundation. Because I can't, I can't deal with looking like cakey and... I don't know. I mean, I don't have any blush or bronzer on. All I have is this and the powder that I'm getting ready to show you. And I just, I feel cakey. I don't like it at all. Um, but, yeah. We'll, we'll keep trying this out and see if it gets any better. But, um, if y'all have any comments or anything about how I should apply this, then please feel free to comment below. <laughs> and the next thing I got, this is from Ryan. The next couple things are from Rite Aid. I got the Rebel on Color Stay um, Press Powder, and it is in Fair 128.2. And um, it just looks like this. There's a mirror. I'm trying not to blind you. Um, looks very sheer. Um, I actually like the way that this applied, but then again, you know, I feel cakey. I feel like I got, you know, I don't know. Hello. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. Um, just look over the doggy, <laughs> but I don't know these two together. I don't know how I'm going to like it too well. I'll use them and see where, where it goes. Um, I just ate, so he's, he smells like food on me. Um, but yeah, I've looked all over the place for the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I finally found it and it took me forever to get the stuff to come out of the sponge, the little applicator. It took me forever. Um, I sit here and I twist it and I twist it and I twist it and I twist it. And, um, this is in Light Pill. It's not going to focus. But um, I actually did this underneath my eyes today. Um, I liked how it applied. I'm not too crazy about how the applicator does not... I don't know. I... I'm trying all this new stuff out. I'm used to Mary Kay. Mary Kay's getting so expensive now. Um, the cheapest product that we just came out with, oh, he scratched me pretty bad, was um, the new skincare was like 70 bucks, and that's for one product. And I'm like, no, people are not going to buy this, so I'm just going to go ahead and quit selling it. Um, so I'm trying to use up all of my Mary Kay. Um, But, yeah, I'm not having any luck, and I'm trying out new stuff, and I don't know. I'm just, I've been using Mary Kay for almost two years, and it's just, it's hard. It's a hard thing to, to switch from high-end Mary Kay to drugstore makeup, and it's just, it's rough. My skin's taking a toll, too. But, anyway, the next thing that I got was Maybelline New York Define a Brow, and I got it in dark blonde. Because my eyebrows really don't need filled all that much, but whenever they do... You know, I just take this and just kind of do my thing. And I love that it's got a brush on the end. Because that just makes it ten times easier. Um, I only filled, I didn't fill in any brow today because I didn't really do my makeup today. Simply because, um, well, hello. Simply because I just, I didn't feel good. And anyway next thing I got the Revlon lip butter and 080 strawberry shortcake and this is what it looks like 
and I know that I'm just now getting on the bandwagon with the Revlon lip butters, but um, don't judge. But yeah, um, I also got a new nail polish. It's my first Essie nail polish, um, but it's actually over there on the table, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But um, I can't remember the name of it either. I think it's Trophy Live. But I'm looking for mint candy apple, and nowhere that I look has mint candy apple. So I'm just going to have to get on 88beauty.com and see if they've got it on there. Um, but I'm actually going to go ahead and jump off here and um, clean up the house a little bit from where I've been spending the night over here. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs>